Hello, and welcome to Raspberry Crafts, my YouTube channel where I share all my crafty adventures. Today is December the 3rd, and it is the third day of Vlogmas. It's kind of a gray day outside. You can still see the mountains have some snow on them at the tops, but the temperature dropped overnight. It was like 18 degrees, that's Celsius, because I'm in Canada, uh, like a couple days ago, and it was minus three this morning. So yeah, that's cold. Hence, the lovely sweater that I'm wearing today. This is the Throwover by Andrea Mowry. Um, and these were just some scraps that I had uh, left over from different projects. And um, the black is, it's on a land wool. It was also super old in my stash. I'd made something out of it and ripped it out and I, I had like 20 balls of it and I still have some left. It's great just to have black yarn as like a contrast. So anyway, now I'm rambling. So yes, I'm wearing that. Today I'm also wearing my leg warmers and I am wearing my uh, Cozy Knitter Advent socks. I'll try and take a picture or I don't know, get my feet in here somehow at some point. <laughs> That's be interesting. Uh, all right, moving on to Advent. What we have for us today. I realized when I was editing yesterday's video that the crinkling is like super loud. So I may try and make that quieter or not. You'll see. It's a video. You get what you get, people. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This is definitely fading. I don't know how well you can see, but there's just a little bit of purple in this one and mostly pink. That is like the perfect ballet pink. Well, I mean, it's variegated, so it's not, but like, this is, this is good pink. I like this pink. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Since I have them all right here in my basket, I'm going to take them all out. So there's the first three days. Hmm. Yeah. I mentioned before that I was thinking about different patterns that I could do to, for the advents. And the more, I mean, I, this is only three days so far, but the more that I see these, I'm like, I want to use up all of this in one project, one giant project. It will probably be a shawl. I do, there is a sweater or two that looks interesting. I have a bundle on Ravelry if Ravelry is safe for you to use and um, yeah so I'm gonna have to go through those and talk about some of those patterns I think that is super super I'll put those away later I won't bore you with me putting them back I do want to get your quick opinion for anybody watching this episode uh, so I started a new hat for the set of Christmas hats if you haven't watched my other videos my regular episodes I'm doing um, toques for everyone in my family that is coming to spend Christmas together. Um, and I've finished the kids ones. There's four kids and then there are six adults. So I am um, going to make everyone hats. Uh, this will be for one of the boys. It's quite large, like it's super large. Um, so this may end up being for my brother-in-law because his head is gigantic. We'll see. And I had originally planned to do like a buffalo plaid feral pattern, um, but I wasn't super happy with the how it was turning out. And yeah, things just weren't working like I wanted to. And this will be a lot quicker because it's just, this is the classic ribbed hat. I call it a toque. In the States, you call it a hat, a winter hat or a beanie. Anyway, this is the classic rib hat by Pearl Soho. And it's a nit there's Knit Picks yarn, it's Wool of the Andes. Um, and it is, it is almost really more of a DK weight. So I went down a couple needle sizes because this is one by one ribbing, so it's super stretchy. And I have the red next. And then I'll go back to the maroon and then the black and then reverse it. You know what I mean. 
So I'm just wondering how many rows of each color should I do? I've done, so this is eight of the black because that's kind of the brim start of that. And then um, the there's four rows of the maroon. And I'm thinking that four is gonna be enough to blend the color. And so I'll just every four rows change the color out and then it will kind of blend into those colors. I feel like if I do more, then it's gonna be more like really stripey instead of blendy, but maybe not, maybe six or eight, I don't know. What do you think? What's your opinion? What should I do? Uh, so that's hat number one. And then hat number two will be black, whoop, with these two colors. And hat number three will be black and these two colors. These are more blue and the blue tones. So yeah, so that is my plan for those. I'm just gonna do the classic ribbed hat for all three of the men's hats and call it good. All right, so moving on to what I'm making for the ladies. And I'm using some Loops and Thread Impeccable that I have. Um, this one is called Aaron Tweed and this one is, whoops, it's upside down, Walnut Tweed. Um, so this is the one that I made a sweater out of recently, um, where I made the flax sweater, but maybe the extra long for a tunic, and I, I showed it on my podcast lots, so you should check it out there. And um, this is uh, extra yarn that I got uh, at the same time, but of course it's brown. And uh, so they're the same, the same yarn, just different colors. It is 97% acrylic and 3% other fibers. I don't know what that means, but there you go. Other fibers. So they're acrylic. Um, you know, I just, sometimes having something in acrylic is just easier to gift. Uh, hats are not things that get washed that often, um, unless you get really sweaty in them. So it's fine to do them out of wool. Um, yeah, we'll see. This is a superwash wool. This is sorry. This is from the hat that I showed you before. The superwash wool, so they could throw it in the washing machine, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's a lot easier. And then what I'm making for the ladies is <laughs> looks like nothing. <laughs> this will be the now. I don't have the paper. I think it's called the gothic lace cowl. It's by Tin Can Knits and I will put it up on the screen somewhere what the pattern is actually called. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's like, can be a scarf, it can be buttoned up for a cowl. Um, I think that I'm gonna make the longer version so that I can kind of like double wrap it and make it nice and cozy or hang, hang it a bit more decorative. Um, you could also um, use it as like an ear warmer, you know, kind of like a snood kind of thing. So anyway, so that's what I'm making with those. I'm doing it two at a time because I'm crazy. Um, I find once I get into the pattern of something, doing stuff two at a time, like doing two at a time socks is actually preferable to me because then both things are done. So yes, it takes a little longer, but I'm already in the mode and I'll already be like, okay, the pattern is this because it's a lace pattern. So I'll do the, do the lace pattern, do the lace pattern, and then come back and it, yeah, it won't, it will feel like it'll take less long to do them two at a time than it would be to do them one at a time. <laughs> In my crazy brain. <laughs> so that is that. And um, that's all I'm gonna talk about with the knitting today. Uh, what is else is on the docket for today? Uh, I work, you know, it's Friday, so it's a work day. I work Monday to Friday, so that's that. But tonight I'm going out with some girlfriends and we're going to an exit room and we're going to uh, go out for dinner after. So that should be super fun. And um, you're not allowed to video or have your phones in the exit room. So I won't be doing any video in there. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll snap a few pictures or something while we're out and about. I doubt all my friends want to be on a video, but I'll ask them to see, to see if they want to be on, on Vlogmas. And uh, yeah, that's about it for today. So I won't be signing back on later because I'm sure by the time I get home, I will be exhausted and want to go to bed. 
because I've been getting up early so I can go do these fun things in the evening and not have to work. So there you go. And uh, yeah, so see you tomorrow. Enjoy the snippets of Advent at the end and whatever else I end up recording. Have a great day, guys. Bye.